The flight began with a vertical lift through the heavy lower atmosphere and a tilt to the east. At 6,000 miles per hour, the empty first stage is discarded to save weight. So is an adapter ring and the unused escape tower. With the second stage firing, it reaches 15,000 miles per hour when it too is jettisoned. The third stage places Apollo in Earth orbit at 17,400 miles per hour. When the spacecraft has been thoroughly checked out by the crew, the third stage fires again, its speed now tearing it free from the grip of Earth's gravity. While coasting outward, the command service module separates and docks for access to the lunar module, and the empty third stage is left behind. Apollo loses speed throughout nine-tenths of its journey until the moon's gravity overcomes the pull of Earth. Apollo fires in reverse direction, slowing down enough to be captured in orbit about the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin enter the lunar module Eagle, which separates, leaving Collins and the command service module in lunar orbit. Eagle slows still more and breaks to a touchdown on the lunar surface. After the moonwalk, the upper stage of the Eagle lifts off, leaving behind the now useless landing stage, and swings into orbit to dock with Columbia once again. When the crew and moon samples are transferred to the command service module, the lunar module is discarded. The command service module fires itself out of lunar orbit and falls back to Earth. As it approaches the re-entry speed of nearly 25,000 miles per hour, the service module drops away. The command module plunges into the atmosphere, protected by its heat shield. Slowed still more by the heavy lower atmosphere, it parachutes into the sea. The command module, Columbia, is all that remains of the original 3,000 tons of rocket, fuel, and cargo.